A short 1.6 mile drive from the Solbury School lies the 90 acre farm called Roots to River Farm. The farm has mostly flat fields surrounded by a forest and gives off a fresh air vibe that makes it feel like you could stay there and be in peace forever. Roots to River Farm is a small farm located in New Hope, Pennsylvania. The farm is comprised of only a few buildings, some of which include an all-purpose building and two greenhouses. The owner of the farm is Malika Spencer, who said she started this farm on her own with a $50,000 loan. At Roots River Farm, Spencer and her crew grow vegetables such as onions, beets, potatoes, squash, tomatoes, peas, and spinach. Spencer started Roots River Farm four years ago. When she bought the property, there was nothing there but, in, but the all-purpose building. Spencer got all of her training from prior experience in college and on other farms. She chose to focus on local farming because she thinks that fresh ingredients have a big factor on food. Spencer said that running a farm is hard work. During harvest season, she works from 7 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. and from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. when it's not harvest season. Spencer works along 12 other employees. At the start of the day, Spencer said she and her crew wake up, get ready, and goes right to work, and don't really stop until the day's end. Roots River Farm runs at CSA, or Community Supported Agriculture. This means that Roots River grows vegetables to sell to their subscribers, who pay a fee at the beginning of every year so they can get fresh vegetables. On one day every week, someone will load up a truck and deliver produce to the families who have purchased shares in their CSA. In total, Roots to River currently produces enough food to feed 140 families and still have some left over. Their products are sold up and down the East Coast at different markets. On a scale of from 1 to 10, Spencer rated how hard her overall work is as a 9. Nonetheless, she said she is happy to be part of Roots to River Farm. The community that has formed around the farm with the members and workers and chefs is far more than I could have imagined, she said. In the end, she really loves the work.